The China Grand Smash 2024 in Beijing. One of the strongest table tennis tournaments that there ever has been. Due to its Grand Smash status, it means that every single player in the top of the world is playing. My first round match against Tomislav Putza from Croatia was anything but easy. I was trailing 2-1-9-7 and almost lost in the first round, but luckily I managed to stay positive and play a very strong fifth set to take the match and advance to the second round. And let me tell you, I played one of the best matches of my life. I went in from 0-0 in the first set I had the perfect tactic to slow down the game, to make a lot of weird spinny shots, to kind of make him doubt himself and lose his confidence in his strong strokes, which is of course what he's known for. If I will play speed against him or play long rallies, I would not have a chance. The footwork and the lob comes down long. Oh, what a backhand! The power! What an unusual flick for an opening. Never easy, Anders Lind. Impressive defense, but better off. Talking. Oh, back end of the table after a snake from down near the ground catches an edge. It's adaptation. So I'm very happy that I managed to turn the game into my favor, into my territory, and somehow I was able to beat the world number one. What a crazy moment in my life. Anders Lind does it! Anders Lind has taken down the world number one, the win of his career. Revenge from the quarterfinals. Dasha at home, Denmark watching proudly. The following days after beating Van Chuchin, it was very hard to fall down again. This moment is the biggest of my life. I tried my best to stay disciplined and not lose my head too much and make silly mistakes. But I did. I accidentally threw away one of my table tennis match shoes and couldn't manage to find a new pair before my third round match against Kao Cheng Yui. So yes, I played this match in my sneakers that I received from Jack and Jones in the Olympic Games. And I don't know how, but I managed to make an insane comeback, being down 2-0 and turning it all around and winning in the fifth set. Luckily for the fourth round against Lin Shi Dong, I had managed to find a new pair of table tennis shoes. They were not as good as my old ones that I of course have practiced in many years and I feel comfortable in, but they were quite good. Unfortunately, on that day, Lin Shi Dong was playing like an absolute beast. He was playing so strong from both sides, he was answering everything I tried to do. No matter if I played power or if I played spin, he was always one step ahead. But anyways, it was an amazing experience. Just hear the crowd and the atmosphere in the hall after this amazing point.
So it's been a few days since I arrived back from China and uh, yeah, it's still a little bit hard to wrap my head around what, what the result I made down there was. It's very special and of course it's not going to happen a lot of times in my career that I beat the current world number one and the player who was favorite to take down his third Grand Smash title in a row. So yeah, that was amazing. Um, first of all, I would like to thank my coach and teammate Jonathan. He really helped me a lot in those matches. What he, what he did for me down in China was really something I appreciate and I owe him big time. And secondly, I would like to thank you guys because Wow, holy shit, I received so many messages from, uh, from you guys who are following me, supporting me on these tournaments that really uh, made the result and the victory feel even better. So thank you so much for that. And uh, yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time, guys.